if you want to become 18 times more sexy hit that subscribe button down below leave a comment hit the like button it definitely all helps the outcome to get this video seen in this video i really want to talk about the the affiliate programs that companies do for for content creators and why if you're a smaller content creator you probably shouldn't be doing these at all my name is deadly tv thanks for checking out the channel like i said do all those things and let's get into the video If you're watching this video and you're pulling in 10 to 20 30k impressions per piece of content that you put out whether it be a stream or a youtube video this video is not for you okay you're probably at the point where you're going to start having companies approach you that's cool take those deals please watch the rest of the video let me know if i'm wrong about anything but don't take offense got it cool now that we got that out of the way let's hop on in also, before we hop into the meat of this video, I feel like there's a couple of terms that we need to get out of the way real quick just to kind of level the playing field so that way if I say it all the time, you know what I'm talking about. Impressions, so the number of times people somebody see either a product or a sponsorship for a product. Click-through rate, how many times that link or product ad gets clicked. CPA, cost per action. Basically, whenever somebody does a thing, right, such as purchasing said product or subscribing to said thing. Cool? Got it, let's hop on in. So this is something that has become really predominant lately and I see it a lot over on streamer Twitter, which we're gonna do a separate video about how shit it is. Um, to even a bunch of content creators on, on Twitch and on YouTube as well. It's something that really doesn't ring true and makes sense to me is the use of affiliate links when you're not, no offense, worth a shit. So an affiliate link is basically when you click on the product and you get your 5% off code. In general, if you're getting lots of, of views and you're getting lots of concurrence and people are showing up, the more impressions that feeds and the more likelihood of somebody is buying said product. But the question is, is why do small streamers, 10, 20, 30 viewer streamers with no subscribers on YouTube and a low TikTok impression rate, why are they getting these codes as well? And it's one simple word, marketing. I totally understand why companies are doing this because streamers are super impressionable and super out there trying to chase the bag. And I get it. We all have the dreams of making it big as a content creator and feeding our habits and our fuel and supporting our lifestyles by making content such as videos like this or streaming on the internet. I understand why people take them. My goal is to try to get you to not take them yet. With this, I wanted to pull up some statistics basically on how much you can make from some of these affiliate programs that you see all the time on the bottom of stream banners and how people call them out in their YouTube videos. This is where the terms that we talked about earlier come in. Cost per action, CPA is basically cost of per sale, right? How many times that product is sold using your code, whether it be for 5% off or 0% off really, and how much you can actually make from it. So a lot of these that you that you go through, right? It's between about one and 5% per, per sale, right? Per CPA, per, per action item, right? 5%, 8% is the one that actually blows me away is Corsair, which also owns Elgato, which you see a lot of people be uh, pumping that shit out there like that's like the money making selling business and the commission rates are only 1% per sale, which is baffling to me, right? Which is where really it comes into the, 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 the talk of scale. So why do you see a bunch of small creators have it? Well, it's a simple word and it's called marketing, right? The more impressions that you feed, the more likely somebody is gonna buy that product, right? Generally in the age of digital marketing, seven to 10 views or impressions are generally what it makes, or generally what it takes in order to convert that action into a sale. So the more people that you have spouting your product out, flexing it, showing it off, trying to get you to buy it using their code, the more impressions that's gonna give you. And you see, like I said, you see this a lot on Twitter and you see this a lot on YouTube videos. But Ned, they're just trying to make some money and they're trying to feel their habits. I get it, okay? Totally understood. The problem is if you're a 20 viewer Andy and you're getting 50 views, they're not even making it all the way to the product placement 9%, 90% of the time. You're not selling anything. You are just a billboard, okay? I, I, I can't stress this enough. As many times as I have to go on Twitter and see hashtag respawn recruit or hashtag uh, Elgato sponsorship or hashtag fucking whatever and there's no impressions on the tweet, it blows me away why anybody would waste their time taking the time out of their day to call out something that you get 
almost nothing in return. If I have 18 viewers in my stream, right? I have 18 viewers in my stream and I say, hey guys, like, look, I have this affiliate code for uh, G Fuel. I love the stuff, right? If you use my code, you get 10% off, right? Well, the cap that you're gonna get is 100% conversions and the likelihood of that happening is slim to none. You have 18 regular people and five people buy them at a 10% CPA rate for G Fuel, right? And that's high end. So let's 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 do some math, chat. Let's do some math. Let's do some math. The tub of G Fuel is $36. 36 times 0 0.1, $3 and six cents that you're gonna make. As we saw, most of these are about 5% of what the CPA is, right? So now you're looking at even lower than that. Now you're looking at 36 times 0 0.05. You're making a dollar and 80 cents per tub of G Fuel that you sell. You have 18 viewers in your stream. The cap you're ever gonna hit is 18. You're gonna make $32 for being a billboard for a different company. That is not worth your value. That is not worth your time. I do believe that most people have what it takes to actually make it in some sort of content field, whether it be YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, anything like that to actually be able to make some money off of it. To sell yourself for this low of an amount, complete waste of time, complete waste of time. The only way, and the, this is where we're going to get into the opinionated section. The only way that I ever see any of this actually make sense is if a company is going to approach you with different term offers. The, the, the way that I've always tried to live my life is to bargain from a, a position of power, essentially, right? I want to have the upper hand and I want people to come to me with this, right? I want them to offer me their best terms or their best terms. I would have come back and be like, okay, so you're going to offer me 5% per CPA on each individual transaction. I, I stream for a thousand people a day, right? So we've already determined the math, right? So it's 36 times 0 0.05 times a thousand. Okay. That starts to actually make more sense, right? If you get a thousand, if you get a thousand turns or you get a thousand tubs sold, that begins to make a little bit more sense for your product placement saying, Hey, buy my tub of G fuel and and you'll support the stream and you'll get a good product in return just to be clear these aren't real numbers so just humor me we're basing off of the averages that we looked at before eighteen hundred dollars sounds pretty good but what if in a position of power i could say okay guys i'll i'll do that but i want eight percent of each tub sold well that changes the math a lot right 0 0.08 you're making almost a dollar more at that rate a thousand now you're making a thousand dollars more because you were able to negotiate from a position of power in order to get that extra couple percentages out to further boost your pockets and i'm going to end the video here because i find this extremely obnoxious and it started with that phase five shit for the people that wanted to join phase clan whatever happened to those creators god only fucking knows however the other thing that really bothers me are these recruiting ad programs where they want to be yes we are a company we want to make sure that we want to help our small creators out so we're going to host a contest called uh, for lack of a better term the the apple 100 right and, and we're and we as apple we're going to sponsor one content creator that we pick out of a set of 100 so if you want to be in the 100 make sure you use hashtag apple 100 over and over again Show your best videos to why we should sponsor using hashtag Apple 100 and post it over on Twitter and on Facebook and on Instagram. And while you're at it, if you do all three, you get an extra chance to become a creator with us too. Well, what has that done? Okay. That, what that has done is blown up the impression rate 80 fold. Now Apple 100s in your face constantly because every small creator wants to be sponsored by Apple to make what there's no terms attached to this. So we don't know what you would be getting. You just know that you would be sponsored stop doing this stop freely advertising yourself for these companies know your worth and i'm not knocking companies for doing this it's cheap marketing totally down for it if i owned one of these businesses and i do own a business nothing that would actually benefit from any of this but if i owned one of these businesses if i owned a keyboard business that sold ball shaped keycaps you damn well best believe I would be advertising that shit on Twitter and I'd be doing one of these programs because the amount of cheap marketing that you get out of that is so astronomically high. There's no sense in not doing it. All that I'm asking is that streamers, content creators, and people that want to develop themselves in this space of creating stuff on the internet to know your worth. Just know how much you're worth and you're worth more than the free advertising you're giving these companies. You're worth more than $36 in each. But you have to get there. You have to get to that position of power 
where these people come and approach you and want to talk terms with you and meet you in the middle in the ben in the middle of the battlefield if you're an 18 viewer streamer you have no power you have no position of power to bargain and in my opinion you probably shouldn't take those deals keep hustling keep honing your craft keep trying to learn new things keep trying to get better at what you're doing so that way you can get to that point where you can be in that position guys thank you for checking out the video i know that was kind of a rambly one um but it's one that really bothers me i see it all the time on twitter and, uh, and on twitch streams and on youtube channels all the time and it, it really bothers me that that people don't know their worth you guys are worth more than this so please definitely leave a comment down below let me know what you think if you if you send on one of these affiliate programs and you have 100 100 impressions a week and you're making bukusa bikes let me know in the comments down below because I, I i would love to hear about it and i would love to even have you on the show to interview about it honestly um we do a podcast every week called the creator sit down that name's kind of in flex go check it out right here it's going to be up in the tab up here uh if you liked it if you liked anything in this video please hit that subscribe button it definitely does help hit the like button hit that notification bell so you can see when we post new videos a lot like this hopefully one that's less rambly than this one but there's a lot this is a complicated thing so <laughs> hopefully that made sense if it didn't let me know uh and i will help address any questions that you guys have until then stay safe have a great day i'll talk to you guys later